I broke out the Paramount hoodie today because we are talking about Adam's Family Values. Now, this is just something that I've been watching since I was a kid, a movie that I absolutely love. And when the 4K was announced, this was a day one purchase for me. Now, I do have it on VHS. I can't find it at the moment because I'm pretty sure my kid took it to watch for Halloween. But then I had the Blu-ray. I had the DVD. Like, this is a movie that has been watched a ton in the house. Now, the worst thing about this 4K disc is the fact that I think it raises the bar for Paramount and 4Ks in general as a very bare minimum standard as the technology has gotten better over the years in the 4Ks. This whole 2024 year of 4Ks, I think has been just absolutely top notch. It's just win after win. But this one right here, just comparing it to the Blu-ray, you're gonna have a tighter, nicer grain structure. And while that generally doesn't bother me because I watched the Blu-ray for years and never had a problem, well, I don't remember when this came out, but I've been watching it since it came out, maybe 2019, roughly. So yeah, definitely years on this one. And uh, so this is something that I've been watching on my older HD television, the first one that I had, the 4K that I had that lit on fire, and then now my OLED. I had been watching it on those TVs, and I enjoyed it. It's a great thing. And so it's not knocking the Blu-ray, because the Blu-ray was still good. This is just top notch. Now, one of the few things that I really, really noticed always was there's one scene in particular with Fester coming to spy on Debbie as she's reading to Pubert. And as she, you know, she's reading, he's in the background, he opens the door and you see his face. And on the Blu-ray, it's a little bit fuzzy because it's in the background. It's not crystal clear. The 4K cleans all that up. And so you have, you know, not only the nicer, tighter grain structure, which it doesn't really bother me as much like if I sit further away, but on a 65 inch TV, my sofa is about eight feet away from it. And some of the older films with the bigger grain structure, it's just noticeable. It's not bothersome or anything like that. But the 4K, I noticed cleaned all that up. The other scene that was very noticeable that way was when the car comes home for the first time after they pick up Hubert from the hospital. As they're driving home, the canvas on the car is, you know, it's a different color than the rest of the car and everything else is dark. And as they're driving, you can see pretty heavy grain on the Blu-ray and it's moving. So it was just kind of noticeable. But on this, it's still there. But at my sofa sitting there, I didn't notice it at all. I had to get a little bit closer to the television for that. And then the other option I have to watch my movies at all the time is in my dining room. It's an open concept uh, room. so dining room my table is about 16 feet away so roughly about 16 feet away I can sit down and also watch the movies and I usually do all three I usually get closer to the television about where my player is just to double check if I'm kind of going between the blu-ray and the 4k to check but then I sit down as I actually watch the movie and that's where my main viewing experience is but then I always also go back a little bit further because everybody's going to have a different size television and everybody's going to have a different uh, uh, distance that they're going to sit from. So between doing those three options, the 4K always won. It always stood out to me as being the very best possible picture. Now where the, the it really, really shines is the Dolby Vision. Now in the earlier scenes in the mansion, all of your dark, your macabre, your dirt, your grime, you're going to have a huge contrast between the darks and the lights in that. And so there's not a whole lot of color in the mansion, but once you get to, to the camp scenes, which is just another thing that I always kind of thought, I thought was funny because these Adams Family movies, they don't really have like a holiday theme, but everybody always associates these with October, the spooky season. Both of the 4Ks for these movies were released in October. Uh, so it's just something that's always there. But as the first one, it starts out, it plays Christmas music. This one has like the Thanksgiving uh, pageant that they're doing at the camp and so it has the whole thanksgiving theme so yeah you can watch these anytime but i don't know why they do it other than the creepy and kooky um you know theme song there so something that you know to notice once they get to the camp scene and they have the, the big colors they have the thanksgiving pageant and all that stuff the dolby vision really pops the grass is super green the lake is nice the clothes that the kids are wearing just pop a little bit more on the 4K than they do on the Blu-ray. Now, the one thing that was the exact same, it was the audio. The audio is the same DTS Master 5.1 audio, where that was really good. I didn't notice any difference because they're the exact same audio. But this one right here, good sound, great picture. Now the special features on here are kind of lackluster. You have an amazing commentary track. 
Um, but then the actual special features, even though they're new, they're not new. So they're new for the first time, I think, on physical media, home video, however you want to say it. Again, I'm not a fan of saying physical media, but if you don't, I think you get kind of forgotten about. So I'm, I might start saying a little bit more reluctantly, but the actual thing of the special features in here, the extra stuff that was added, it was like older bits of people talking about the movie. And I know a lot of companies have done that recently. I know that was just recently done on Death Becomes Her. And that's something nice because those old TV spots, even though I might have saw them back then, I don't know when the last time I saw them. And they might be available on YouTube, they might not. But to be able to have it all in one place attached to your disc, just top notch. So it's not huge on the special features, but that commentary track is really awesome. And the TV spots that are on here, you might have never seen them because they're not on here. Now, where I take some points off is I love the fact that you have this original artwork. And that was the movie poster I remember seeing when I, I went to the theater. I don't remember what it was when I was a kid. And this teaser trailer uh, or teaser poster was hanging up. It was like coming soon. And I was super excited about it. I love the fact that they tied in the purple. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Big Ugly Banner. So it's a smaller banner, but still there. And it says, first time on 4K Ultra HD. Now that's perfectly fine. I'm kind of glad that they went with the purple. It blends in a little bit more. But when you switch this out, take this out, you have a different slip cover than you do on the actual 4K cover, which is really cool. Now I've never really been a huge slip cover guy. Most of these just go inside of a box and I store them, you know, because I, I, I used to throw them away. They're kind of a more of a hassle for me. But when you have a different slip cover than you do on the, the actual 4K cover, I think that's just a top notch way to go. And it makes more sense where people go nuts over these things. If you have the exact same image and you can't change it out, I don't understand why people just are like, I need to have my slip cover. I've talked to people that won't buy a version of a movie if the slip cover is missing. And I was just like, the whole point is to watch the movie. And yes, I'm a premium package guy. I like that type of stuff. But this had never made sense to me. But the fact that it's two different versions of the cover, that right there is top notch. Now where it faults again, you still have that big ugly banner. 4K Ultra HD digital code. Like nobody needs that information. It wasn't on the, I'm pretty sure it wasn't on the original 4K for Adam's Family. There was no big ugly banner. It just kind of had it there. Uh, and that type of stuff can always be done with a sticker. We saw it on the uh, Gremlins release, it has a sticker there. There's other versions that have a sticker that say first time on 4K. So yeah, it was a cost cutting measure for the company, but it's something that I absolutely hate. And if you are gonna stick it on the slipcover, why are you sticking it there too? It's just kind of, it's a waste. Like who cares about the digital code? You're buying this because you don't care about the digital code. That's like a silly bonus that, I know most people that buy these don't care, some do. So, I mean, obviously there's going to be somebody in the comments that says, oh, I love my digital copies. Good. I'm glad you do. But like, that's not a selling point to me. And you can always throw that other where, somewhere else. It's just one of those things where it's just like, I, I hate it. But anyway, you know, not to harp on that or beat a dead horse, but that's right there is my only real negative about the packaging and the fact that they did something different, but you didn't have the option. You can't switch this over like some of the boutique labels do. So it's just a simple plain white there. Not a big deal. And, you know, most discs are like that as well. You know, this, the only really time I ever saw you able to switch this over to different artwork has been on the boutique labels. So a larger label or, you know, a bigger studio putting one of these out. I didn't ever expect it, but I also didn't expect to have two different versions where you have the, this art on the cover and the, or slip cover and then you have the regular art here. So didn't mind it at all, but it's also the same exact art we had on the Blu-ray, really sharp, but the Blu-ray never had anything. And I don't remember if this one did come with a digital code at the time, but it doesn't have anything extra. It's just, a, it's just the Blu-ray as well. So if it had the 4K or if it had the digital code, there is still no big ugly banner, which I, it just, for me, I'm just looking at the side by side, it just takes away from the art. Not a big deal, but it's like a, I don't know. It's like if you got a brand new car and you scratched it, like it's just, it's just going to bother you the whole time. And for me, it's the same thing with that banner. Got it. But other than that, top notch release. Absolutely love it. I think uh, if you're going to pick this up, go ahead, get the 4k. You're going to be happy. Highly recommend grabbing this 4k. And if it's not, you know, you're, you're number one, you haven't already picked it up. You already have the Blu-ray. 
it's a decent upgrade from the Blu-ray to the 4K, but the Blu-ray was still good. So if you don't feel that you need to upgrade, you think your Blu-ray is fine, I get it. There's a ton of people that, you know, they're 4K only guys, and there's a ton of people that are like, why do I need the 4K? I think this is going to add, if you have a giant television, if you have a nice big 4K, if you spend that kind of money on your system, you're getting the best possible picture with this version and happy to report that it's an amazing transfer. Let me know if you pick this up, if you're going to be picking it up. For some 4K movie recommendations, you're going to want to check out this video right here. And with that, watch a movie today and I'll catch you guys next time.